Hey what's up guys, it's Jay here from 360 Studios and today we'll be having a look at the discipline of boxing. So let's choose our little boxer dude here who fights out of American Top Team. Press choose and we will be presented with the American Top Team gym in all its full lovely American glory. Here it is. So, if we just swipe around to training, we will see boxing. So, uh, a positive of boxing, it has a good amount of KOs. So, you can finish the fight instantly, basically. Uh, multiple hits with combos. So, combos are one of the secondary effects in the discipline of boxing. Unbreakable shield defense. Shield is another secondary effect in the discipline of boxing. A negative of discipline is that it only has head and body moves, so there's no attacks or strikes to the legs. So if we select boxing, we'll go into boxing training. So let's tap the introduction, and we'll get the introductory session uh, with Daniel against Daniel Strauss. And I believe it will be our head coach Ricardo Laborio who will be talking us through boxing as a discipline. So Ricardo says this is boxing. It's great for individuals. It's, it's great for individual move damage and knockouts. Let's try a boxing move card against your opponent. So we'll just tap in a attack. And it's been partially defended by the one and only Daniel Strauss. Ricardo says each discipline has special move cards that have bonus effects. A shield move card can only be destroyed by a single attack move card. Tap and hold to see the effect. So here it describes the secondary effect which is shield. So it can only be destroyed by a single attack. So let's click, let's lock it in. So you see that our opponent has thrown two attacks to the head, um, which means our shield has defended it because it can only be broken by one attack. Boxing also uses combos. These special move cards can attack multiple times. Tap and hold to see the effect. So we'll hold this move card and we see combo can hit up to two times. Let's lock it in and see it in action. So it's not been defended by our opponent. And it's hit two times. All disciplines have KO or submission move cards. Your opponent has a knockout move card. And I've got a feeling that we're going to get caught by it. Ooh. So we're going to have to defend the knockout now. Because Mr. Strauss has successfully ooh, hit us. Uh, so we've just got a tap to recover. And we've defended it successfully. Uh, final turn. Great recovery. Being knocked out or submitted ends a fight instantly. Now let's see if you can finish strong. Here you have some great move cards. So let's just select as many as we can. And this will do the trick. And now you see we win. Awesome. So there we learn about the two secondary effects within the discipline of boxing. Which is shield. Uh, so that's really good for uh, your defense. <clears throat> it means that your opponent must throw uh, a single attack to break that shield. So that's really good secondary effect for defending a lot of damage at once. And then, of course, we learn about the second secondary effect, which is combos. So that is really good for your attack. Um, you can inflict way more damage than you originally intended to. Um, which is which can be really surprising, you know, if you want to go all out and, and use a combo secondary effect attack. Uh, towards the end of a fight, you could potentially inflict way more damage. 
uh, than you intended to, you know, similar to a critical hit would be uh, in other disciplines like Muay Thai kickboxing. So let's try and put some of this into action. So here we have a shield secondary effect. Um, well, I think we're going to go with defending both our, there you go, torso and our head. So you see uh, our opponent's uh, knockout secondary effect did not take place there because we defended it partially. But Mr. Strauss did not defend it, so it did go through. Three turns to go. Uh, so here's our shield. Only be destroyed by a single attack. Let's throw that. So we take a bit of damage there. So again, we've partially defended that, so the KO secondary effect will not take place. And now I think we'll just go all out and finish our opponents. So there you have it, guys. Um, they're pretty much the fundamentals of boxing as a discipline. There's a lot of power in discipline in uh, in boxing. Uh, with combos and knockouts but there's also the ability to defend very cleverly uh, with the use of shields so it's a good all-round discipline um, doesn't have any leg moves and obviously can't take it to the ground no ground moves um, but boxing is very useful uh, discipline with some really good and useful secondary effects as pointed out and we just earned this bad boy training series head guard Woo. So thanks for watching and hopefully you have a little bit better understanding of boxing now. Uh, look out for my other videos covering the other disciplines and hope to see you in the arena soon.